with Lee Scott from Starag, and we're talking uh, today about the combustion engine and some of the parts that are in the combustion engine that are manufactured using the technologies that the Starag Group supply. Um, Lee, uh, the combustion engine, some would say its days are numbered, but still currently uh, there's lots of manufacturing needed. So what are your machines making within this uh, field of transport? There's, there's a number of different size there's a product in, in, in this uh, in this sector. So the small end, you know, a, a small car engine, if you like, might be a, a, a three cylinder aluminium system. Uh, a medium size uh, engine might go into a tractor or a large car, you know, your big V8s and, and that sort of thing. Or up to large engines, which may go into um, a power generator or, or a huge earth moving uh, piece of equipment or, or, you know, a ship. Well, and, and I mean, the automotive industry typically is very competitive. So I'm guessing here, you know, we see automation on the screen. It's everything is about quick cycle times, quick production times, isn't it? Is that where your machines are really, is that the, the, the biggest requirement in this area? I'm going to say yes, but it is twofold. It's, it's incredibly important to get the process correct within the machine. But we do occasionally get inquiries for standalone machines for low volume, maybe in the supply chain, but you're right, most of our applications involve automation. It's not just about the machining of it, it's about feeding the machine, it's about having a very reliable, robust process. And I would imagine tolerance plays a huge part as well, doesn't it? I mean, you know, every engine is, is they're looking for engines to, to reliably run for hundreds of thousands of miles, and in order to do that, they've gotta be right. So how do you, and what challenges do you face in that area that your machines solve? Well, of course, your machine's got to be rigid, but it's also got to be fast and it's got to be reliable. So on aluminium, we're high speed machining. Uh, on, on cast iron, uh, obviously, you, you've got limitations on your speed, but you've got critical components like, like your crankshaft bores and your camshaft bores and your journals, your valve seats, that they've all got to be absolutely spot on for exactly the reasons you mentioned. So your machine's got to be very reliable. It's got to repeat. Uh, it's got to be able to hold very long tools securely and you, you, you've got to be able to manage your process so that you know every hundred thousand parts or whatever you're going to change something and that's going to work like clockwork. And which of your machines then and we, we, we look at a lot of them on on these movies on MTD CNC where are the major which of your machines are the most popular in this area? Well for, for the small and medium size um, components we're, we're talking crankcases, cylinder heads that type of product it's usually the Hecate, the Hecate compact line um, for some of the larger products, uh, we're, we're going to the, the, the medium sized range, which is the Hecate uh, H, HEC range, 1000 up to, up to 1800. And we even produce components on the larger FOGS machines for, for, the, for the very large engines that I discussed earlier as well. So there's, there's different products for different size of engine. And how do you monitor the success of the manufacturing process? I know some will say, well, it's about the, the volume of parts that are coming off the line. You know, as quickly as possible. But there's all these aspects when you're talking about precision is about measuring, maintaining tolerances, all of these things. There must be a lot that goes on other than just quick and automation. Well, there's a lot of in-process measurement, of course, but it's all about cost per part. At the end of the day, everything's about cost per part. So we've got to be able to produce the lowest cost per part to a given standard of quality and a given cycle time. 